Osama Tezuka's legacy is spat on today. As an AI project is set to bring back Tezuka and make more classic manga, specifically Blackjack, on 50th anniversary. What a waste of an anniversary. Under the supervision of Tezuka's eldest son, Makoto, they will bring back Blackjack under an AI monstrosity. Both the art and story will be made by an AI under this project name of Tezuka 2023. This is without a doubt an insult to the legacy of Tezuka. Osama Tezuka is known as the grandfather of anime and manga. To see his work resurrected by a robot taking his work and creating imitation fills me with dread of a dark future for manga and anime. We already had a small fear from the dog and the boy creating background art, and that was already a big issue. Now seeing a fully-fledged manga by one of the most influential mangaka to ever exist is horrifying and scary. We may be seeing a future where more and more manga is made by AI and less are made by people. In the strict timeline that it takes to make manga, it's not that surprising that it'll become a more common place in the near future. While this project is under a very talented team to make sure it stays true to the original style and writing, without Tezuka's masterful writing and direction, this will never be but a shame of Tezuka's work. When Miyazaki was shown AI learning how to act like humans, this is what he had to say. Oh, <laughs> Now, this is from an interview seven years ago, so a lot has changed, of course, since then. This team wanted to build a machine that can draw like humans do. There's a famous quote by Miyazaki that's often misquoted on and it was a mistake. The full quote, <laughs> well, more context for the quote is, you see, whether you can draw like this or not, being able to think of this kind of design, it depends on whether or not you can say to yourself, oh yeah, girls like this exist in real life. If you don't spend time watching real people, you can't do this because you've never seen it. Some people spend their lives interested in only themselves. Almost all Japanese animation is produced with hardly any basis taken from observing real people. You know, it's produced by humans who can't stand looking at other humans. And that's why the industry is full of otaku, Hayao Miyazaki. AI can only copy from what is seen. It can only see art, but not real people. AI as core is art that can't stand the sight of real people. There's no stopping Pandora's box after it's been opened. Blackjack is not just a random manga by Tezuka. It's considered one of his best. In 2006, the Japan Media Arts Festival held an expert's ranking of the greatest manga of all time. Blackjack was fifth, and this was by Japan's Agency for Cultural Affairs for such high marks. That's why this is so, so saddening to see. AI will slowly integrate itself into anime, manga, and probably movies in the coming years. Maybe even more this year. This is not the end of human-driven art. There will always be works made by people. But seeing this disrespect for the future of anime and manga.